PAX East 2019. This was certainly a different PAX for me because I was going with plenty of friends this time, specifically three awesome dudes, shout out to you guys, and I just met a lot more people this year. So some of you may know that I love free stuff, and PAX East is one of the best places to get free stuff. Well, the past few weeks I took it upon myself to make a swag map, which is a map of where all the free stuff is. I guess if, in case you need a visual as to what that is, here's a little video about me explaining it. Skip to this timestamp if you want to skip the entire swag map explanation. Okay, so this is the swag map that I made. You see a lot of circles. I'll just do a quick rundown of what I got. So up in the corner, if my phone can focus, there's a little key to help people identify what things are. So as you can see, red is given to you. Oof, big finger. Um, red is given to you. Blue is like a contest or a raffle that typically involves social media. Yellow is a game challenge, so you have to play something in order to get the stuff. Purple is a scavenger hunt, so if they have, like, an ARG, which I believe is an augmented reality game, uh, feel free to correct me on that. Or I guess the editor can put something on screen right now. Um, there's a few of those, like, happening in the booths. And then Blurple is just a color for Discord because... I don't know. I don't tell you how to do your job. Anyway. So you can see... There's a ton of circles. Like, they're everywhere. I spent forever trying to make this. So, stapled on the back. You guys may recognize this from a certain subreddit. Yes, there is a list. A detailed list with the name of the exhibitor, or the booth owner, the booth number on the map, and or location if it's like a party or something. Uh, what it is, which is referring to that key from earlier, the type of swag it is, which can range from anything from, like, an Xbox One X to a, a Pog, because there's someone giving out Pogs, and then uh, details on how to get it. So, I took so much time to make this. There's two pages of this. Because holy crap, and don't mind the little stars here, that's just stuff I would really like to go to. This is the day before PAX, by the way. Probably just specified. And uh, that just means I'm working from 2 to 3 p.m. at the Discord booth. So if you saw me and didn't know it was me, well, surprise, it was me. That basically what the swag map was. Uh, how did the rest of your PAX go, Mike? Well... Uh, needless to say, uh, past Mike, the journey there was... interesting? Uh, yeah. So this was my first time taking the train to PAX, so I didn't exactly know how this worked, as you can see right here. Okay, so we're taking the Hogwarts Express, right? Is that how this works? I, don't I know, you idiot. <laughs> I don't see the Hogwarts Express anywhere. No. <laughs> if these country rails don't take me to the packs I belong. Oh my god, so many people. All my fellow gamers. 
including this one. Instantly, I was blown away by everything that I was seeing. However, the first thing I noticed were that there were some streaming pods from Elgato, where our partnered streamers could actually broadcast themselves for two hour time slots live in front of the expo hall. And you should see the kind of rigs they had. They were amazing. Like, check this out. Okay, this is awesome. So apparently if you're some kind of a partner, you could stream at the Elgato streaming pods. Look at those things. That computer is one shiny boy. Oh, that's amazing. Always wanted a setup like that. And there's three of them, which makes it even better. So cool. There's the Elgato Hall, but we'll be there in a minute. Okay, so next ball hall is not open yet, so I gotta find a way to occupy myself until like 10, 10.30. Hopefully I can find someone from Twitch crew or PAX community discord, because I know I'm supposed to meet some people here, but I see literally nobody, so wish me luck on that. As people from PAX usually say, if all else fails, aimlessly wander around somewhere. So I end up walking around where Jam Space was and two of the theaters, but I unfortunately couldn't find anything. So yeah, uh, a majority of this video is just going to be all my video clips that I have of PAX, so you're going to see less of this and more of that. So hope you like the journey. Swag Hunters, the first swag has been acquired. Foam Sword for Square Enix. Swag hunting is just beginning, y'all. This is insane. I've only been here for like 20 seconds, and I already want to do everything. <laughs> Freak it out. All right, some of you may know, I'm a personal advocate for computer parts. Look at this. This is so cool. Another flashy boy. Keyboard and a mouse. Oh my god. XFS GPU. XPG RAM. Of course, you got that Cyber Power PC logo going up, up, up a blazing, I guess. Uh, of course, it's Aorus, because they're right next to each other. But this is so cool. I've always wanted a PC like this, but I'm poor. So that's not going to happen. I've heard of GameCube, but this is kind of ridiculous. This is so awesome. Same specs, but it's cube, so it's better. Just got myself a raffle ticket. They're doing some kind of giveaway. Mic check, mic check, mic check. At CyberPower PC, so that's nice. Hello everybody at the CyberPower PC booth. If you guys want to enter into the giveaway, we're going to be giving away processors, hard drives, Speak of the devil. all kinds of good and hardware then, to build your own next PC. If you guys want to enter the giveaway, just come over here to the front. Uh, talk to you a little bit about bag, how it for some works. Reason. So I guess I'll hold all my swag in that. AMD drawstring bag. This is so cool. I want all these PCs. I need them. It looks like we have some headgear and headsets based off of some indie franchises. Uh, very lesser known titles such as The Legend of Zelda. Uh, you got Mario. I'm uh, pretty sure nobody knows who that is. Uh, you got some cool, nice controller stuff. And green, because gamer stuff is always green and I love it. Holy crap, guys. I too an, am, am an indie title. An am an I don't know. I too am an indie title. I don't know, because background looks pretty nice so those might look familiar if any of you guys have watched my twitch streams i play both of these games love them so much it's so awesome no your eyes are not deceiving you 
I finally got to meet the people behind Summoner's Fate, aka Ross from D20 Studios, and Unbound Creations, which made Headliner Novi News, as depicted with Jacob. These guys were incredibly nice to talk to, and the second I told them I was MCN Mike, they instantly just lit up. Like, they were so happy that I visited them, and their demo stations were just amazing. Apparently they've been next to each other for multiple conventions, so it was kind of funny to see the first two developers I've ever worked with right next to each other at a convention I was at. So, shout out to Ross and Jacob, you guys are the true MVPs. Okay, that was awesome. Got to visit my indie partners. Although, there is one that I'm currently missing, and I've got to go find them. Uh, you guys don't know them yet, because I've been keeping it a secret for quite a while, about a month. And I think it's finally time that I tell you guys what kind of plan I'm up to with these people. So some of you might be familiar with a certain publishing company called Viz Media. Well, it turns out they're actually collaborating with a game developer from Portland, Oregon on a certain game. That's, that, that's not it. Uh, that's a different one, but it's right next to it. Uh, yeah, right there. The world next door. That's a game I'm going to be playing on stream, and it's time to meet the developers. So it turns out the person from the world next door that I talked to over Discord isn't there yet. Uh, they're going to be there around 1.30, so I'm going to have to visit them later. Which is cool, I guess. Uh, this just means I get to visit even more booths. Let the swag hunt continue. I came underground. Epic retro stuff. All these games. Holy crap. This is why you should never use emulators, kids. You can get the real thing right here. I love it so much. You ever just feel like you just get pushed around all the time? Man, that must really suck. So, just stopped by the G Fuel booth. Bought myself a $10 starter pack. Never had G Fuel before. I hear it's good stuff. I don't regret anything. <laughs> oh, the Mega Stream Deck. I'm gonna press this button. There's a little Wumpus boy. He's so cute! I love him. Okay, I guess the trip to Tabletop Free Play will have to be delayed. I was gonna go there to meet people from PAX Community Discord, but I have some uh, other business with him. So, would you give this PAX East a rating of completed? At least they visited. Visit it. It's fun here. It's you should come. It's fun. True. I give this PAX a completionist rating of visited and enjoyed. I'm just as shocked as you are, to be honest. I got to meet the bearded god, the completionist. Oh my god, where do I even start with this guy? He was so cool to talk to. You could even see in the last video clip, he was looking over at my camera. So you could tell he was just anticipating me to go up to him and be like, Hey, you're awesome. I love your stuff. Did what I do with a selfie or a thing with me? Did, I mean, the selfie didn't end up happening. This picture is actually just a, um, a frame from the video clip. Anyway, that's not the point. Point is, Gerard was such a very approachable person, and I was actually telling him about my uh, senior project related to mental health and video games, and he found it so fascinating, and the fact that I could have such a great conversation with him was even better. So, Gerard, if you're watching this, thank you so much, and thanks for inspiring me. 
guys. I'm still trying to process that. Like, I met the completionist. Like, I was just talking to him. Like, we've known each other for so long, but, like, that's the first time I've ever met him. He's just as much of a beard man as he is on YouTube. He is so cool. We were just talking about, like, oh, your stuff is cool, and... <laughs> it was so cool. Anyway, hopefully, tabletop free play is close because I need to find it. Guys, I think I found the best booth ever. Nice. Okay, so I found the PAX Community Discord. Couldn't get a selfie because I have to run to the food trucks because that's where my original crew is, the people that I went with to get here. So I'm gonna go do that. They gave me a little pass that actually says Swag Map Maker on it. I guess they're just really happy that I made those swag maps. So really appreciate it. Love you guys. Okay, so I actually put my lapel microphone where it should be, which is on my sweatshirt string. Uh, so lunch was good. Gonna be going back. Uh, I'm gonna be working the Discord booth. And I'm also going to be meeting up with someone from that mystery project. Let's do it! Okay, so... Hey, guys! Literally out of nowhere, I found Baggy Noodle Arms and Baggy from Twitch Crew. I was so happy to run into these guys at the Indie Mega Booth. We actually ended up not just staying where we were, but we looked at some other indie titles. Not only that, but we also ran to the community representative for the people behind The World Next Door, my next project by Rose City Games. Uh, you can see the selfie with all four of us in there. They were such nice people to talk to, and it was great to finally put like a face to the name, even though I technically saw their faces in their profile pictures. It was still nice to have a legitimate conversation with these people, as opposed to typing in a Discord text box. So, you guys were just amazing, I hope we see each other sometime in the very near future. And Kim Chica, you were so fun to talk to, I look forward to working on The World Next Door with you guys. Trying this game, called Robot Named Flight. Never heard of this game before. This looks like it could be interesting. Let me just get the right spot and... Uh, which controller actually works? So this appears to be a Metroidvania, and I died. Okay, so it looks like the death sequence is expi uh, inspired by Mega Man. Three. We're gonna scream out Wumpus. One, 
Just got done helping out at the Discord booth. Got to work there for an hour. Such amazing people. Shout out to Andy from PAX Community Discord, as well as Aspect on the Discord staff. You guys were so much fun to work with. And honestly, like everybody that's that was working with the lines and everyone that was just working at the booth in general, like thanks for such an amazing Discordy experience. I got a shirt out of it, so that's pretty cool. So, it's roughly three o'clock. PAX is coming to a close. Uh, Expo Hall closes in three hours, maybe two and a half. Hopefully I can slip in some extra games and uh, maybe some more free stuff. So, currently in line for a panel at the Cuttlefish Theater. Um, something about influencers and brands, like putting it all together. Decided to go to this panel because apparently uh, it'll help me out a lot with content creation. Uh, maybe I can learn a thing or two and apply it to my Twitch channel. So, that'll be interesting if it works. Uh, not sure if I'll even be allowed to record while I'm inside. So don't be surprised if there are no video clips. Um, uh, yeah, also, person from Polygon is here, so that's cool. Well, that was a cool panel. I uh, learned some interesting stuff about being a creator. So, Bethesda, watch out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Or am I? I don't know. But, it was awesome. Uh, there was the guy from Game Ranks, he's actually here. Then there's a couple streamers and someone from Bethesda. So that's really awesome. Just five flex on that. And so ends yet another PAX East, my third one in a row. Oh my god, this was probably the best year yet. I actually got to meet game developers that I'm working with. I got to meet the Twitch crew, I got to meet the PAX community Discord people. And I got plenty of lanyards and swag to show for it. I give this Paxi's completionist rating of... Well, I mean, I'm at the completionist. I think he's the only one that can really validate it when I say I give it a rating of completed. After Pax East was over for us, we went and got dinner in Chinatown, Boston. Or rather, a ramen and rice place right near Chinatown. Uh, we later then went into Chinatown, for real this time, and went to like a small pastry smoothie place, and I got myself a nice little kiwi lemonade mixed drink. Pretty good stuff, I have to say. But, but uh, yeah. Let's take it over to current Mike as he shows you all the swag he collected. Swag review! Just kidding. This is just me doing my normal thing. Anyway. So, let's start with my lanyards. So, this one is not first. This one. So, this is the Final Fantasy XIV online lanyard. Uh, purple, because darkness or something. Given out for free to everybody, so all attendees got one. And, of course, my badge, because I kind of need this to get in. Uh, I didn't think of actually where to put these when I was finished. I guess I'll put them here. Uh, when I was working at the Discord booth, there was an esports group uh, that was playing some Nitro games called the Reborn Knights. So, you know, go check them out. I'll link them in the description below. Uh, I'm not good at this. Never done an unboxing before. Or whatever this is. Uh, at the PAX Arena, they were doing the Nintendo... North America Open for Smash Bros. And they gave me this lanyard. 
Unfortunately, I didn't go see it because I had other stuff to work on. But still pretty cool. And then Gunner Optics. Uh, they make like gaming glasses. Uh, glasses? No, glasses. Um, for, I don't know, I guess to reduce eye strain. Um, yeah, and this is my PAX Community Discord badge. If here we can focus on that. Can it, can it please? Come on. Alright, well, close enough, I guess. Um, so in case you can't read that, it says PAX Swag Map Creator. So, in case you didn't know, I'm the mastermind behind the Paxi swag maps. Or, I guess, all the swag maps for every single Pax. Which is awesome. Pax Community Discord. Awesome people. Join the server if you love Pax. Or communities, or discords. Or all of the above. Uh, down here is my Hype Squad logo. Or, not my logo, but my Hype Squad house. Uh, they actually put my Twitch link on here so you could see... Um, twitch.tv slash mcnmike. Oh, there we go. We're finally focused. So, awesome badge. And on the back, it just has, like, media designers. Uh, if I just do this... I thought this would... I thought I had a tried and true method here. Well, it says media designers, so GFX and CMYK matter. Uh, those are the guys who made these. Awesome job, you guys. Now. Huge bag of stuff. So, the bag, this is the AMD bag from the CyberPower PC booth. Uh, they were just giving these out for free if you followed I, uh, CyberPower on one of their social media channels. That was cool. Uh, this thing... This is a foam sword for Final Fantasy XIV Online. They had stacks of these, so you can have a little battle royale if you wanted to. Don't know why you would, though. Uh, let's see, what else is in this bag of stuff? Well, in this bag is a bag. Uh, this is from Southern New Hampshire University. Let me just move in here so you can see me. Southern New Hampshire University. Uh, this is actually one of the schools I got accepted to. I'm debating on which school to go to still, so maybe I'll see them there? Wait, no. That, how do I words? Maybe I'll go to the Southern New Hampshire school to pursue my degree? Not sure yet. Some of you may know that I worked at the Discord booth for an hour. Uh, this is the wrong shirt. I worked at the Discord booth for an hour uh, just as volunteer, because Hype Squad event attendees can do that. They gave me this Discord Hype Squad t-shirt. But in addition, and this one I find to be really amazing. Yeah, <laughs> this is the PAX East 2019 exclusive Discord shirt that they sold out of. Uh, like shortly after my shift, or before my shift ended, they're like, oh yeah, we basically sold out of these shirts, and I'm like, dang it, I was gonna buy one. But then I see this, and I'm like, oh my god. They sold out, because they were giving these to us. So it says PAX East XX19 Discord. Absolutely love you guys. A uh, special shout out to Aspect, one of the Discord staff who was helping me out. And Andy from PAX Community Discord, he was there working the shift with me, so that was fun. Uh, no, this shirt, not yet. <laughs> uh, where is it? So, I was talking to somebody over Discord before the event started, and they knew about the swag map. And they're just like, hey, I love your work. Uh, actually, I think I have the DM up here my laptop is this the right one no it is not but I wish I visited those guys 
Uh, this is the person. Over at HitSense. Not sure if you guys have heard that. It's a lesser known website, but they were showing off nine indie games. And I was telling them, like, oh yeah, the swag map, I'll add you guys to it, because anybody gets on there if you're giving away free stuff. Um, we were just going back and forth. They were explaining what the booth was all about. I'm like, wow, this is awesome. I'm definitely going to swing by. And they told me, there are nine pins for each of the games that they're showing off. And I'm like, I'm going to need to collect them all. And I'm like, yeah, I want to try out these games. So this person, um, I'm not going to say their username because I don't want them to get spammed. Like, why didn't I get a pin? But they said, I owe you at least nine pins for all the time you're saving me on my own swag search. And it's their first pack, so they're super excited to get folks' feedback on the games. And holy crap. Boy, did they come through for me. Um... They gave me this bag with one of every single pin that was in the booth. Like, this is one of all... These are... Uh, ah, words. These are all nine of the pins that you could have gotten at the booth for playing the games. And they just had these set aside for me. Which I thought was generous enough. But then I seen them reaching further into... Uh, no, uh, they weren't reaching into the backpack when they were telling me this, but they're like, Oh yeah, I got your pens. By the way, what t-shirt size are you? So, I tend to fit in a large, but I can also fit in a medium, although the sleeves are quite short when I am in a medium. They gave me this shirt. Hitsense.com. So, that's them. So, I will link them down below. I recommend you check them out, because the games they were showing off were awesome. My personal favorite, uh, if I can find the pin that I got for it in here. Um, that's something else. <laughs> uh, a robot named Fight. Uh, if I can... can... Can you focus on this, please? Come on. I want to show people cool stuff. Well, it recently came out on Nintendo Switch, as indicated by the Switch logo. There we go. Oh, you can see me in there. Hello. Uh, a robot named Fight. It is a Metroidvania game, which I've never tried Metroidvanias, Metroidvanias before, and this one proved to be really interesting, so I'm definitely going to have to pick up that game, and I have a duplicate pin of that, because I didn't know... She had those set aside for me until I already picked this one up. So, not sure if I should give this away to a viewer or if I should just sell it to somebody. Uh, let me know in the comments what you want me to do. So, it was finally revealed that I'm working with Rose City Games and Viz Media to promote their new game that came out two days ago, I believe. Um... The world next door and they happen to be giving away comics about their game which is like all the storyline i should have picked up two of these because i would have gotten the other one like signed by the team and i was talking to some of them including kim chica from uh she was on the twitch crew discord she is the one that i was talking to to get connected with the um the game they're like we need influencers and i'm like heck yeah I'll do that. This bag. Oh boy. So, I decided to go to G Fuel, uh, and I bought myself a $10 starter pack, because I've never tried G Fuel before, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Uh, there's supposed to be seven, but I already had one today. Uh, it was... Uh, it was like something... It, it was like raspberry, strawberry, lemonade... Uh, pink lemonade. That's what it was. It was pretty good. Uh, the other flavors in here are kiwi strawberry, peach iced tea, strawberry shortcake, tropical rain, blue ice, and phase berry. So, excited to give all these flavors a try. And I also got the special shaker cup that has a picture of Stone Cold Steve Austin. 
on it, which I find incredibly hilarious. Uh, let's see, what else do I got? Uh, there was just this booth that randomly handed out these cards, which is, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, excuse me, um, no, it is a little thing called Pirates of the Carib Bean. Um, yeah, I don't really understand the logic behind this kind of thing. Um, I mean, I know the joke, like, I'm not oblivious to the joke, but, like, I don't even know. But, uh, my card has Britney Spears, which says, Oops, I did it again, in reference to one of her songs. <laughs> it left me speechless, because it was so random, and I had no idea why this was a thing. Apparently it is. I don't even know. Uh, this thing, uh, Nitrado, or game servers, I uh, receive 10% off your game server, uh, wait a minute, why am I covering the code? No, the code is PAX East, go for it, I guess, I'm not gonna use it, I don't need a game server, uh, let's see, who's so much more stuff, so I actually got an extra Smash Bros. lanyard, cause, um, Hollywood, the guy at the booth, was just throwing these out to people, and I happened to catch one, so, probably gonna sell this as well. Obviously, the money is going towards, like, a good cause, you know? It's going towards making my equipment better, uh, getting new games to stream. Uh, here's a little Discord sticker that I have. I don't know, it's, it, it looked cool, so I took it. <laughs> Speaking of Discord, uh, you guys might have heard about Nelly. Uh, you got this for taking a selfie with Wumpus. Look at that cute little, cute little kitty. So adorable. Ooh, ooh. Uh, okay, so I was with the Twitch crew, uh, Baggy Noodle Arms and Baggy, and they, like, we were walking around the Indie Mega Booth, and they tried this little game called Cosmo's Quick Stop. Uh, if I can focus on that. Uh, please? Like, like, please, though. I don't know. The focus on this thing, it, it's a Logitech C922. Maybe if I cover my face. Stop focusing on my face. I get it. I'm beautiful. Um, yeah. It's some kind of, like, a, um, alien gas station management game. So, that's cool. Came with a couple pins. One of the little goop that you gotta clean out of the bathrooms in the game. And then... A pin that says, I'm a certified space gas station attendant. Not a title I'm particularly proud to have, but a title I can use nonetheless. Uh, maybe I'll say it as like a Twitter handle or something. Um, Hype Squad. I just got a pin for my house. Uh, that's, that's it. Good night, everybody. Uh... There we go. It's a very weird hand position. I'm doing like a Kameha. Um, let's see. Just a couple cards. I got this weird hot drinks thing. It has a QR code on the back. I don't know what it does. So let me know in the comments below if you also got one of those and you know what it does. Uh, just a Hype Squad balance sticker, because I don't know. Um, so here is a code for One Finger Death Punch 2, which is first of all a weird name for a game, but I don't judge. And also, it's in early access. So the Steam code is on the back. I'm using it. Don't steal it. Uh, another Cosmos Quick Stop card. Um, finally, some Nintendo pins, because I'm part of My Nintendo, which is their new reward system. Holy crap, that is the mo you know what, no, let me, let me show you how much stuff this is. 
Like, look at all that. I mean, don't count this stuff in the back, but... That's just the pile of free stuff that I actually got. And also, haha, -ha, got him. Um, yeah, let me just put this back up here. So this Pax East was probably the best one yet. Uh, hopefully I can go to next year's. It'll be a bit difficult though, because I'll be in college, and I don't know how this is going to work. I don't know if I'll be stuck as an exhibitor for my school or not. Uh, hopefully I can still have a lot of fun all four days. So, yeah, I want to thank all the people that I met at PAX East. You guys were wonderful to talk to and hang out with. And, yeah, if you like swag, look forward to my next swag map for PAX West, because I do these for every single PAX, even the ones that I don't go to. Hopefully, uh, now that PAX is over, I can resume weekly streams. And maybe I can finally finish that Crash Bandicoot series. <laughs> See ya.